This is a brief demonstration of the new WebEx wireless phone configuration management tool. And what this will allow you to do is lock down or customize the WebEx wireless phone without the need for a third party enterprise mobility management system or without the need for a third party MDM. So this tool is basically free to use and it will allow you to lock down this device and customize it at no cost. Now there are two parts to this tool. The first thing that we'll look at is the initial provisioning which allows me to generate a QR code to basically onboard it onto the wireless network. And the second one is the deployment configuration. This would be a file that would be uploaded to UC Manager. You can see that there are many parameters that can be customized. And the example that we'll look at in a bit, we're gonna customize what we call the smart launcher, which is basically a screen to hide Android and to basically provide a very simple user experience. So let's start off with the initial provisioning. I'm going to type in my SSID and I will also type in my password. We can select the option to do a hidden SSID if I want and now I will generate a code and now I'm going to point my WebEx wireless phone at this QR code in just a minute. So I have factory reset the device and I simply tap the screen here multiple times in order to trigger the onboarding process. And now I can go ahead and scan the QR code. Now that I have scanned the QR code, this is the first screen that appears. I'll click next. I will accept and continue. I'll click next again. There's some various options that I have to choose from here. I'll just click more and then accept. And here we are at the smart launcher. So again, this is the default view. You can customize this on UC Manager. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Now in order for this to fully provision, we would have needed to have DHCP option 150 or DHCP option 66 to have sent information to the phone so that it could find UC Manager. So we do have an end-to-end -end provisioning capability by simply having the ability to do the QR code, do the option 150, then it would go to UC Manager and download the files. Now we're going to look at an example of how I would customize the phone screen. So in this example, we're going to go to the Smart Launcher and I am going to remove the WebEx application. So here where it says wx 2 android that is the WebEx application. I will also rename Smart Launcher to default applications. And now that I have done that, I simply click export. So this is the files that it has exported. You can see we have a config.json.enc. This file I'm going to put in the TFTP directory of UC Manager. This file is only if you want to go back and continuously edit the file. So this is not needed to deploy the customized configuration. This key, we will actually paste the contents into the UC Manager field. So let's take a look at that. So here we are on the 860 device page in UC Manager. We're at the bottom of the device page and we have these two fields, Enterprise Mobility Management Alternate Configuration and we have the Enterprise Mobility Management Alternate Configuration Encryption Key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in this that we got from the zip file. Now you can have multiple names of this, multiple versions in case you need to roll out different customizations on different phones. And then we have the key. So the key is going to be the contents of the key.txt. 
So it's going to be a very long 64 character string. So I'll go ahead and paste that in here. And then we are done. So I'll save and apply. And then this will be pushed down to the WebEx wireless phone. So as you can see, now that I have pushed down this new configuration, that the WebEx application is now gone. So bottom line is that this screen can be customized to put whatever it is that you would like on it. In this next demonstration, we will deploy phone only mode, so to speak, where only the phone application is present. And so to do that, we would go to the Smart Launcher and then remove everything but the phone app. And so what this will do is actually make this app the only app that appears on the device and you won't even see the Smart Launcher. So let's go ahead and export this. So I will export my file. I'll put the file on UC Manager, insert the key value, save and apply, and then restart my TTP service. And we'll see how it looks. So I have pushed the file from UC Manager, and as you can see, all that it displays is the main phone. So there's no way to get out of it. This is the only thing that it shows. So again, this is a, a viable deployment option if you only want it to show the phone app. Now, as an administrator, if I needed to exit out of this phone-only mode, how would I do that? So, what I'm going to show you is applicable to either having the Smart Launcher with multiple apps or this phone-only mode. You basically just drag this down and then choose this, and then you'll see the option to Exit Launcher. So, then I'll select Exit Launcher, and then it's asking me for an admin passcode. So the default is going to be the star star pound and you can change that to a different password or a stronger password on UC Manager if you would like to do so. And then when I click submit, it will then present me with an unlocked system. And as you can see, it's unlocked and then I could make changes on the device if I needed to do so. Thank you.